his teacher said something that made a very bad impression. So, here's a little African-American boy, right? A black boy. African boy living in America from African ancestry, right? His descriptive characteristics are that of Afrocentricity. Yes? All right. A white teacher said, everybody in the class, draw a picture of yourself. He drew, he drew a self-portrait, right? He didn't get the nose quite right, so I'm carrot goggy. White teacher. Him said, white teacher, help me draw my nose. I'm sure that's not what he said, but he said, teacher, help me draw my nose. What the teacher did was the teacher drew a big nose. I didn't like how I drew my nose, and then I asked him, could you help me draw my nose? And then, and then he drew my nose really big, and then I asked him, why you draw my nose really big? And then he said, could all African Americans have big noses? Nassan says his art teacher, John Johnson, is white. I was shocked. Nassan's grandmother, Roberta Williams, says when he told her about the comment, she was outraged. For it to be a white teacher, and my grandson's African-American, and you told a kid that, okay, because of your color, you have a big nose. And I don't think that any child, regardless of what color they are, no teacher should be shaming a child about their color, the size of their nose, the Jones's favorite subject is art. I don't. All right, all right. He looked at the teacher and said the, the nose was probably over exaggerated. Mm -hmm. What the teacher, what, what he looked at the teacher and said, the little kid said, is why'd you draw my nose that big? The teacher said, well, all African Americans have big noses. It made news. What you have to say about that? Honestly, I don't think it's that serious. Stereotypically, they claim that African Americans have big nose, big lips, large eyes. And that's something that we have genetically based on our African descent. And I guess I'm at the point now where I feel like people are too sensitive. And then I'm at the point where I feel like these white people feel like they can do or say anything because Trump is in office. So certain things that they wouldn't do or say before, they feel like they're allowed to say no because somebody like Donald Trump is in the White House. You really draw Trump in this? Yeah. Babe, honestly? I'm allowing my wife to speak her mind. Her views does not necessarily <laughs> represent the <laughs> but that's how you feel? Yeah, honestly, that's how I feel. I feel like they're taking full advantage. So everything that they couldn't do before, they were restricted to do before, they feel like, okay, he's in office, I can say whatever I want, I'm free. Let's, let's just get it over with. Speak my mind, you know, talk my mind. Really? Yeah, really. Alright, this is how I feel about it. Check it. This, this thing is a double-edged sword. Yeah. For, on one side, what I see, because I'm, I'm more amazed that his grandmother, being an African-American woman herself, is surprised. Yeah. Why would you be surprised that a white man is being stereotypical when, when dealing with your black child? Mm -hmm. Why the hell would you be... I, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm, stop it. Stop it. The same shit been happening to us for hundreds of years now under white rule. Yeah. And you know about it. Whether you want to accept it or not, you know about it. So how are you here talking about, I'm surprised. You're not surprised. Stop playing games, man. Now, here's another thing. Had he been taught at home that Big Nose is beautiful. Now, I didn't see the picture. Because if the picture was extremely over-exaggerated, then the child might have been offended. Yeah. But had he been thought at, taught at home to... Love his to, to, to love Afrocentric features. Mm. And, to, and I shouldn't even say Afrocentric features because there are Afrocentric people that With have... Tiny nose yeah, what, and cute, tiny Cute, clean-lined noses and smaller lips and narrower face line and all this other stuff. And so I shouldn't even say Afrocentric features. But he, if he was taught that his nose in particular is not of a European standard, oh, right? Yeah. And his lips and whatever, then he probably wouldn't have been offended. Yeah. But for the fact that he's offended, 
Now, I've been in black communities and black... I've been in black communities all my life. I'm black. I've been in black neighborhoods, black families, black families, where if it, the nose is too big, then the same black people... Criticize and talk about. Yes. They don't look at it and say, oh, it's our African ancestry. And you know that um, this great warrior from the tribe of Zulus or from the tribe of the Hutus, they had nose like this. It, this is how you speak power into your children and make them feel powerful. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, your, your eyes look like this, they're wild. And your lips look like this, they're thick. And your nose is broad. It's because you come from this tribe right here. And you see these people right here? They've been here since the beginning of time. They're powerful people. Great part of our history. They don't teach you in school. But it's my job to teach you this at home. Yeah. Let's review the life of the Zulus, the Hutus, the, the, the um, Tutsis. And go into the tribes, right? And teach your children. Nope. They'll be at home like this. Girl, go get a weave. Make sure it's straight. Hide your naps. Them shit's ugly as hell. You need to do something with your kitchen back here. Ooh, why her nose so broad? Dang, that girl got them big ass lips. Yeah. While white people over there doing what? I need some lip injections because I want my lips to be thicker. And those are the same people that are telling you. Your lips are ugly. They're too Damn, big. Damn, you got some big ass lips. <laughs> All black people have big old, whatever they call it, lips. Right? And, 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 and behind the scenes... They're at the doctor getting a, a shot in the lip. Mm. My battery about to go out, right? So I'm going to end the video here before it does. Leave your comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think. Ain't his grandmother too old to be surprised? Why the hell are we still acting like we surprised when white people do shit to us in 2018? Huh? And I'm going to edit out this word. But why do white, old-ass black people still act like, oh, I'm so surprised. Come on, man. You know what it is. They did it to your parents. They did it to your grand and your great grandparents. And all of them told you all the way down the line. Stop acting like you're surprised. The man said, all African Americans have big noses. No, they don't. And he's wrong. Yeah. But. That's stereotypical. Stereotypically, it is what it is. Yeah. Right? Leave your comment in the comment section below. I'm out. Deuces.